Hi, I'm Doug, your tech support representative here at Atlantic British. And in this video, we want to show you a trailer hitch that we are now carrying for the new Land Rover Sports. Uh, this is the body style that they changed over from um, the old L320, uh, 2014 and up. And this is nice because this is basically custom built for that particular body style, so it's an easy bolt-in application. And what you're going to get is the hitch itself, and you can see this is a good heavy frame, built very well, uh, good paint job, good coverage on it. You've got the hardware kit, you can see the hardware is also very heavy duty, and it's got quite a good capacity to it. This is actually rated for up to an 8,000 pound trailer with uh, 800 pound tongue weight. And it is a class three, so it's got the two inch opening on it. So now that we've shown you this, and as I said, it's an easy application, we're gonna show you how to install it. All right, before we begin, what I'm gonna do is show you the instructions that come with this. And mostly because in the very beginning, they do give you a little breakdown on the tools that you're going to need to install it. So we've pulled them out here. And essentially what we've got is a 3 8 drive torque wrench with a 10 millimeter socket, half inch drive torque wrench, 15 16 socket, 15 16 open end combination wrench, ratchet, Phillips screwdriver, and a small straight blade screwdriver. And this is basically what you're going to need. And then there's also a um, there's a little trimming that will be done on one of the lower panels. And we have a Dremel tool. We're going to use that. And that's actually shown in the instructions. But, of course, you could use basically anything else that's going to cut plastic. All right, so first step is going to be to remove this panel, which really isn't all that much. You're going to use the straight blade screwdriver we were talking about. Or, if you don't have one handy, a quarter works just as well. And you can just insert it in that. We're going to turn that 90 degrees to the left. and pop out. And you can see the lower panel we're going to need to remove. And that's just the 10 millimeter, two 10 millimeter head bolts under here and two Phillips screwdrivers, two screws here. If you've got an older 2014 and and I say older, they're going to be two years old now. For these two bolts we want to uh, soak them up a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to just show you this is in place. Now what I would suggest is you have someone help you when you go to lay this in. This piece has actually got some weight to it and what happens is that you'll need to hold it up in place while someone slides this top bolt in. This is going to go through the back brace, the bumper brace, and you can see that the hitch comes up in behind it and at this point you don't need to put the nut on, just get the bolt on, get that on and then you can raise the two back areas and you can put the two small bolts on which is that's where we're at right now. Now the thing is that the bolt holes that you're going to run the bolts into are not capped off by Land Rover. They're left to be exposed. So if your vehicle's a couple years old, you've been through a couple winters, you want to shoot some penetrating oil up in that, let it sit for a little bit first before you put those bolts up. Otherwise, uh, the corrosion can uh, end up creating a problem because you're going to torque those bolts. So you want to make sure that they're at a proper torque and not being held by corrosion. So anyway, this is what it looks like in place. And we're just going to put the two back bolts or the two, two back bolts in, get everything torqued up, and then we'll show you how to set up that panel so that you can cut it properly and make room for the hitch. All right, something we're going to take note of because it wasn't on the original tool list. We found that some of these bolt holes, because there's nothing plugging them off, that you get some corrosion built up in there, and we weren't able to start the bolts. The thread size is a 12 millimeter with a 1.75 pitch. And we found one hole we were able to use a thread chaser, which essentially is nothing more than just a, sort of like a blunt tap, but a softer material, and it's just in there to clean the threads, not cut them. The other was so thick with rust, we actually had to use an actual cutting tap to get in there to clean that out. So keep that in mind. You might want to have these close by uh, in case you're going to have some problems threading those back bolts in. Once we threaded them out, the bolts will go in easily. Also something I want to mention quickly, looking through the tool list on the instructions, they forget to list a three-quarter inch socket needed to run the four bolts in from the, from the hitch up into the frame. And now that we've got all four, we're going to have all four started, uh, we're going to tighten these up. And then if you do read the instructions, there is a torque spec of 79 foot-pounds, which we're going to use a half-inch drive click-type torque wrench and set them all into specs. All right, so we found the back bolts we were able to get on with just a long extension and a three-quarter inch socket, and that was fine. We were able to torque them up. The back ones, however, are right in line with the exhaust, and at 80 foot-pounds, or actually 79 foot-pounds, you really can't 
get up in there without an extension. So what we've done is you have to add a swivel with the three quarter inch long extension. You're gonna lose a little bit of torque through this swivel. So what I've done is I've set my torque wrench to 80 foot pounds and we're gonna tighten the two front bolts that way. And just be careful when you're torquing that high with us with the universal. This can slip off, so make sure you just got yourself in a secure stance when you go to lock it up. All right, so we've got the, the four bolts torqued up. Now we still have the big bolt. Now because of the little cutout right there, we're going to slide that back out, put the washer up in place, and then slide that back. And you can get your hand back here, two fingers on the nut, and get that started. Spin that on. All right, so we found that when we installed the big bolt, the opening there was not quite big enough where you could get a socket on it. Now you're going to torque this to 180 foot-pounds, so you darn well need to have a good secure lock on the socket because that's a lot of torque. So the bolt is in, we've taken the Dremel tool, we have a little cutter bit on there, we've opened that up just enough because when you put the back cover on you're not going to see it, it's going to cover that over, and just enough to get a socket on there. We'll put a wrench on the back and we'll get this torqued up to 180 foot-pounds. So we've reached that point in the directions where we're going to mark off the upper panel for cutting out and making room for the hitch. So they give you dimensions on the uh, instructions. They show where they actually tape it off. And we've done the same with green masking tape showing how the area that we're going to cut out. And it's going to leave this tab below so that you still have the two holes for the mounting for this, this part of it. And then we've mounted and marked on the inside where we're going to cut away this part of the panel still leaving the center tab which is also used to locate the, the upper panel. So what we've done is we have a little Dremel tool and this has a cutter bit on it. Uh, you can use a cutoff disc, you can use a razor knife though I suggest you know be careful if you're going to use a razor knife anything that'll cut through the plastic will work just fine. So this is essentially how you're going to look when you're done. You can see the lower cutout and then the cutout for the upper area. And that's essentially going to slip right over like that. And we're going to get past that. And just pop that right in place. Then we'll put our two bolts in up in the back. we we'll put our two screws up in the front. And this panel will be back in place. And then all we need to do is put the upper panel on and we're ready to go. So, we put our upper panel back in, just remember, you need to slide it up, and then there's a center tab right here that's going to pop into the lower panel, and that actually will hold it all up in place. Just put your two screws in again, 90 degrees, locks them in, and that's it, you're done. You can see very little bit of the hitch in the back, the majority of it being hidden up, looks nice and clean, still has plenty of ground clearance. So, when you're ready to install a good quality hitch onto your 2014 and up uh, Land Rover Sport, just give a call to any of our knowledgeable salesmen at 1-800-533-2210. And thanks for watching.